Uh, what's it like being one of the, the old guys of the bunch on offense, and how much fun is that for you? Oh, yeah, it's great. Um, each and every year, you know, you just kind of uh, find your role and, and try to develop through uh, through a team every year. And uh, being being one of the older guys, it's, it's nice to be able to be one of the guys that people come and talk to, ask about. And, um, I mean, I value that a lot. I'm just trying to be a leader every day. And, in our room, outside of our room, especially with everybody learning a uh, new offense and everything, and all the change that goes about college football and all the change that's happened here is just, it's really, really nice to be one of the guys to try to lead the guys through this. Um, and they're doing a great job. I mean, everybody is uh, fired up and ready to go. Luke, it sounds like y'all are doing a lot more in the passing game tight end wise. Could you tell us about that a little bit? Absolutely, yeah. We're, we, uh, we're tasked with, with knowing the whole route tree, which is great. Um, I know in the past couple of years we've uh, been integrated more into the passing game and uh, just being out there more uh, has been great. Uh, and then obviously now, like you said, uh, the passing game is going to be a big, a big deal for us, uh, which kind of pairing the physical run game that, that our room brings uh, and that the running backs bring, I think that's going to be really good for us. Uh, just be able to keep defenses on their toes and uh, be able to be balanced all around. Look, Rivaldo Fairweather, pretty decent player. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you guys go out there and watch practice. He's he's a really good receiver, and um, we were excited to have him in here. And he's he's meshed well with the group. So um, yeah, we're we're bringing him in, and everybody's doing pretty well. You've you've been part of a tempo offense. To get back to that, how much fun is it? Well, it's good. It's really good. Um, I find value in in both a, a huddle offense and a no huddle offense. Uh, kind of had to since I've been a part of two different ones with Coach Malzahn and then Coach Harson's offense. And um, I like I like a good mix of everything. So I'm pretty I'm pretty easy to please with that. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I like the idea of having defenses tired and uh, just rolling up tempo. And, and like I said, just earlier, just keeping defenses on their toes. Uh, that's what you got to do in this league. And I think we'll do a good job of it. Coach, Coach Ben's talked about having you guys be able to do everything. How much has that been a focus in the spring? You mentioned learning the, the route tree, to be able to do everything in the offense needed to stay on the field. Yeah, well, and, and this is, I may be a little biased, but uh, other than quarterback, I think tight end is probably the most difficult position uh, mentally uh, on the offense because you got to know all these motions. You have to know the pass game. You have to go to the run game, the RPOs, the um, if you're staying in, if you're going out. So. Um, it's been an emphasis. It has, and we've we've learned a lot from it. I think it's it's made our room better. So we're going to continue to do that. Luke, how has uh, Micah Riley Decker done so far this spring? Oh, he's great. He's great. You know, I, when Micah came in, um, he reminded me a lot of myself. Uh, he came in kind of a bigger tight end, kind of like me, and uh, just a physical blocker. And I, I I really love to see how he has progressed. He's uh, you could tell his speed's gotten better. He looks really crisp in and out of routes. Uh, and he's just a hard worker. He's a good, good dude, and uh, he took no time coming in last uh, last year and just messing with our our group. And uh, we love him, so he's doing he's doing a good job. You tell us about your new tight end coach. How's that going? Yeah, I mean, uh, I know for some of you guys, I know Coach Bedell. We love Coach Bedell, and um, hope nothing but the best for him. And uh, we've we've grown up to be a really really tight room since uh, the past couple of years. So uh, bringing in a guy that we trust and a guy that we uh, enjoy playing for was a big deal. Uh, I think we're getting to know Coach Coach Ben a lot better, uh, and he's he's just everything that you are uh, looking for in a new coach. You know, he's he's open to uh, asking us how we learn better, things that that help us better. So um, I think that's a big deal, and, and he's doing a great job, and we uh, we love having him in there. What what's been the focus for you in the spring? What what did you feel like? Hey, I need this is the step I need to take. Yeah, so um, I've got a kind of unique skill set, as some of you guys know, and uh, kind of an old school tight end, and, and just kind of bridging that gap, uh, being able to do a bunch of multiple different things, and uh, most of all, I mean, talking with the strength staff and uh, with some of the people that I that I really trust, I, I think the biggest thing that I'm needed to do uh, moving forward is just being more vocal. Um, I know a lot of the guys uh, are used to seeing me around. Uh, I'm used to kind of just trying to do the right thing by everybody, but trying to bridge everybody together and try to be more vocal and just get on to some guys when they need it, love up on some guys when they when they need it even more sometimes than 
just getting on to people because it's not always about, hey, you do this, do that, you're not doing this because uh, building relationships and building trust is probably the biggest biggest thing for a leader in my opinion. Um, and so working on that, just, just trying to get to know everybody. Uh, we got a great group of guys, so very easy to lead, but uh, just being more vocal and just being that guy that people turn to in, in, in highs and lows. Hey, you're, you're not a rah-rah guy. Has that been hard for you? Yeah, yeah. So that, that's that's probably been the biggest thing for me. Uh, and I talked to, like I said, I talked to Coach Dom and a couple other people. Just, um, yeah, kind of trying to be more vocal without being more rah-rah because that's, that's not my nature. That's not who I am. And I've always kind of put my head down and work. But... Uh, you can be a good leader and be a good vocal leader without being rah-rah and having to um, hype everybody up for every little thing. So, um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a part of it. That's something that has kind of deterred me from opening up in the past. Uh, but I'm, I'm a natural extrovert, so uh, as long as I get to uh, go out and compete with my guys and build relationships with people, that's, that's really, at the end of the day, that's what I'm going to do. You, miss, you mentioned Coach Dom. What, I, I, we've heard guys rave about him and this yes. staff. <laughs> so I was really close with all of my strength and conditioning coaches. Um, I'd like to one day maybe see myself doing the same thing. So I, I really enjoy that aspect of it. And uh, Coach Dom is he's a very unique uh, coach in the sense that he is really, really knowledgeable. And, and we do some really, really good stuff. But also he builds relationships with us. And I feel like... Um, doesn't matter who you are, if you're a star quarterback or if you're uh, some guy who's walking on here and just trying to earn his way, he, he treats you the same and he treats you with respect and he, he opens up and has a relationship with you. So I think that is incredible. I have nothing but great things to say about him and, and what his program has already done to me. I mean, winter workouts have been huge for me, uh, really have. I can tell I'm getting stronger, uh, getting faster, getting better with my mechanics, with everything. and. Uh, he really helps you bridge the gap between strength and conditioning and being a better football player. Yeah, that I mean, that was kind of old school. That's what they used to talk about when Coach Kevin Yoxel was here. They yeah. said, look, it was football-based. Is that is that what you guys are doing now? Yeah, very football-based. I mean, everything's very functional movement, uh, but also you can see strength gains and you can see speed gains because uh, there's, there's value in getting stronger and getting faster without loading up the most weight and becoming a bodybuilder. Um, uh, I've always enjoyed the weight room, and I love that aspect of it. Uh, so I, I really have sat back and, uh, like I said, I, I hope to one day be in that position maybe uh, whenever I get done playing. And uh, he's kind of, the way he teaches has helped helped me almost kind of just be under his wing and uh, learn some things and obviously progress uh, as a ball player. What do you like about working with Ben? My wagon, man. Yeah, 